Hello everyone! So today we're going to start with the exercise, but before we do that, I want to briefly summarize all the questions, okay? Like I've said before, these are type 1, type 2, and type 3 diagrams. So an type 2 ay hindi han triangle pa ni kan niya. Mo, triangle yan, zok tsu nga triangle te o ma. Tapo, type 3, apo, triangle yan, zok tsu nga triangle te o ma. In type 1, we have only one triangle, okay? Alright, now, the questions can come in a way. Um, first of all, we are all only dealing with right-angled triangles, okay? And we have to know what is, where the right angle will be because they will not give us a diagram. We have to draw it on our own. Now, anything that is standing straight, like for example, a building, a tower, or a cable tower, or something like that, a pole, it will always be at right angles with the ground. Okay, so if you don't know how to draw the diagram, just draw a triangle like this and remember that um, the ground and the building or the tower or um, a pole will always be at right angles. Kakasha, top tour. So in type 2, again, we have the right angle over here. There will be a building. There will be two points on the ground. Okay? And their angle of elevation will be different. I've explained this yesterday. Now, for type 3, we can have different ways. And then we uh, either have, um, for example, if this much is a building, on top of the building, there is another tower. Just like that, okay? And uh, from the point on the ground, uh, the angle of elevations are different. Otherwise, it can be the second floor and the top floor of a building also. Like that, okay? Now, uh, that much will be the summary. And one more thing is, uh, if you look at the triangle over here, we already know the there are three names, right? For the sides. Hypotenuse, base, and perpendicular. Now, how do we know which side is hypotenuse? We've studied this before. The side which is right opposite to 90 degree will be hypotenuse. Oh, 90 degree om na opposite siya ka hypotenuse ni. Next, uh, which one, we have to find which one is base, which one is perpendicular. Now, the side which has two angles, the angle which is given in the question, this will always be given, and the 90 degree will be base. Oh, angle pa ni nekop ka base niya, tuan, the remaining is perpendicular, okay? So, first of all, when you draw the diagram, always make sure to write which one is base, perpendicular, and hypotenuse, okay? So, anin, opposite, 90 degree opposite hypotenuse, angle pa ni ne ka base. So, an, abang zong ka perpendicular ni le may o. Usually, for angle of elevation, base will be the ground, okay? A ground ka base, anit lang po yitrin o. Alright, so this is how they will ask the question. In the right triangle, they will, we already know a right angle. They will always give you one angle, which is angle of elevation or depression, right? And among the three sides, base, perpendicular, hypotenuse, they will always give you at least one side. Okay, side pakatal ka zong min silang. So, you have to find, using that, you have to find any other side. Okay, and then, um, for example, if they give you P, you will have to find H. If they give you H, you will have to find P. Or if it, if they give you B, you have to find H or P. So, it depends upon the question. But all I'm saying is, in the triangle, they will give, they will give you right angle. They will give you one more angle, which will either be angle of elevation or depression. And among the three sides, they will give you one of them and you will have to find another one, okay? That is basically how they will be asking in the question. And we are going to use, usually we will use sine and tan thetas, okay? Now let me explain, let me go into detail. Let's take a look at question number one, okay? It says, a kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. Om zia zu, kite le khatsai in shia tero. Tsua ta tranga san zong zu, atlo san zong zu 60 meter ani. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. Ka kite a ka le khatsai zel tu string ka mo. Kan zai na string ka, tsua ta a omani. Okay, tsua ta kan tron betani. 
the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree inclination um ja chu inclination ti khachu angle run so ina ni maya kha string le ground mo angle kha 60 degree ni a find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string no slack anti de okher na chan chu kha string kha achuar la ya om lo ang mar pa ti na om ti na ni mai o it's completely straight so now let's take a look at the diagram this is how the diagram will be okay hey here a diagram anidona kan soi to angkhan e heta right angle triangle anidona heta point a a hian kite kha athlokani mo chuan kha kite kha hetla hi chuat anita chuat atanga asan zong mo the height of the kite from the ground is 60 meters which is given in the question okay now one thing you must know is whenever you are flying a kite le kha kan chai hian Entirnan cuata sonding ta ila lautel ta ila mo cuata canghian ngil takin kencung zona kaita om tela vani okay you will never have like for example if this is if you are standing here and holding the kite it will never be on top of you straight just like this right because if the wind is blowing this way the kite will be in this position you understand so this uh this is uh, and also if you tie the string on a point in the ground also it will never stand straight like this it will always be tilted this way okay so if this is the kite and if this is the string then the string is tied to a point on the ground okay so hence making a right angle triangle okay all right now the question says the inclination of the string with the ground okay now what does that mean inclination of the string with the ground to kasoy to ang khan hetlai string le a ground angle in kar soy nani oh this is a 60 degree okay so um this much is 60 degree this is given in the question now you know right angle you know 60 degree okay all right now like I've said before, you have a right angle triangle. So let's name uh, the three sides. We have hypotenuse, base, and perpendicular, right? Oh. Opposite to right angle, like we said before, is hypotenuse. And the side which has two angles, which is right angle, and the angle of elevation here will be called base. And the third side is perpendicular, okay? So we have B, P, and H. Now, in the question, they've given us perpendicular which is 60 degree right and they want us to find the height of the string okay which is hypotenuse okay so we're going to use p and find h we're going to use perpendicular and find hypotenuse okay so base is not important for this question okay all right now First of all, we will write down what's given to us, okay? We will write down um, this 60 meter. So, we will write down, let AO be equal to P perpendicular, which is 60 meters, okay? That's given in the question. Now, they want us to find height of this length of the string, which is um, hypotenuse, okay? So, write down, let the length of the string be AB which is equal to h okay let the length of the string be a b a b is the name of the side of the mm, triangle oh and we also know that it is hypotenuse right equal to h that we have to find out so we'll put a question mark next to it okay so that's all you have to write for this all right now moving into the triangle look at the triangle okay we know p we want to find out h so in what formula do we use p and h we either have p by h which is perpendicular by hypotenuse and we have h by p so we know that p by h is sine h by p is cosec right so we can use either one of them okay but we are going to use sine we know p we know we're going to find h we know p we're going to find h so we can use either one of them but we are going to use sine oh sine tlang pwing kan mang trina ul sam zok kusik ay tuan so let's use sine which is p by h all right so write down in triangle a o b in triangle a o b comma 
triangle AOB ya hiyan uh, P by H kan man doon vangin sine kan man doon sine instead of theta we are going to write an angle which angle the the angle which they've given us 60 degree over here oh question na ka triangle la angle min pek 60 degree ka kan man doon in triangle AOB sine sine kan man san zu P le H kan man do vangin ni oh sine 60 is equal to P by H now we already know P which is 60 we don't know h, we're going to leave it as h, okay? So, after this, let me just uh, say it one more time. Triangle A, O, B, ya kan, sine kan man na chan zu, P kan sheto a, H kan zong du, zu vang chan sine kan mang. Ani 60 hi nga tinge kan ti zuan, ka triangle angle min pek ka zu 60 ni maya vangin, 60 degree kan mang ani o. Zu zu P by H ni a, zu zu P ka 60 ni vangin, 60 by H kan tile ta tero. Now, sine 60 degree hi kan vong sa to a, kan shi sa ni sine 60 degree hi enge kan ti zuan, enge ka sine 60 degree ka, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, ani. Oh, sine 60 degree here, root 3 by 2, ani. So, sine 60 and sine 60 are the same, obviously. So, if they are the same, then their right hand side will also be the same, right? 60 by h, atsunga mi le, root 3 by 2, atsunga mi po hi, anin equal, vedon ani, because they are both sine 60, okay? Now, we are going to write them uh, sine uh, 60 root uh, 60 by h and the r so on hey po root 3 by 2 ni boka we are going to equate them since they are both the same all right the right hand side will also be equal now let's solve this we can find h by cross multiplying or oh, so cross multiplying here we have root 3 into uh, um, 60 into 2 and root 3 into h okay 60 into 2 is equal to root 3 into h. 60 into 2 is 120. Now we not want to know only h, so we're going to move this to the other side. So h is equal to 120 by root 3. Now you should never ever leave an answer with um, denominator being a root. So we're going to rationalize this. Now we've done this before. How do we do that? We multiply both numerator and denominator by root 3. Okay? So, 120 into root 3, denominator will become root 3 into root 3 will give 3, right? So, if you cancel this, 3, 4s are 12. I've made a mistake here, it should be 40. Oh, hey, 16, 11. 40 root 3, Turani, okay? So, you have the hypotenuse to be 40 root 3. Now, hypotenuse ka length of the string ani vangin. We're going to write the final answer as, therefore, the length of the string is equal to... Therefore, the length of the string is equal to um, six. Uh, sorry, forty root three. Okay, forty root three. To run it up. So the final answer is forty root three meters. Please don't forget to write the unit. Okay. Question number two is also just like this, except in question number two, they've given an extra question, which is height of the person, okay? Now, um, that's all for this video. We'll continue with question number two in the next video, okay? Bye!